Hi guys, welcome to another Ross Perry Productions video. In this video I have a 2017 Toyota Hilux and I'm going to show you how to remove the standard grille on the car. So relatively easy to do and all you're going to need is something to pop off plastic poppers and a 10mm socket or spanner. So nice and simple. As you can see I've already popped the bonnet, if you don't know how to do that just go ahead and pull this handle here. Once you've pulled the interior handle, all we're going to do is pop our hand in here and push that lever to the left and go ahead and lift up our bonnet and we're going to put this bonnet stay in that hole there. Once your bonnet's safe and secure, we can just go ahead and have a look at the grill itself and you can already see two of the fixings, one here and one here. But the other fixings are actually held beneath this black plastic piece here and you can actually see there's quite a few of these black plastic kit clips. This is where we're going to go ahead and use this sort of tool or you could use a flat screwdriver to just go ahead and start prying these poppers off. So let me just go ahead and remove the rest of them and I'll show you what's underneath. And now we can go ahead and actually remove the black plastic. Once the cover plate's now off, you can take a good look and you can see there's one, two, three, four fixing screws. And there's actually clips just down at the bottom. So the clips are located underneath the Toyota badge and one either side. So we're gonna go ahead, undo the four screws and then go ahead and give it a bit of a tug using these grills here. You'll see that in this time lapse right now. And here we have a Hilux without a grill. So you can actually see the slots in the top of the bumper there. That's where the grill clips in. And then obviously these are our mounting fixing points. These ones actually stay loose. And then that one there. So really helpful to know if you need to check for leaks in your radiator. Um, obviously this is horn, so you could actually do your horn replacement from here. You can start to remove your light fittings from the bolts that are now exposed. And obviously we can go ahead and take off our bumper if we need to. Here are some of the fixing points. So really helpful to know. I'll just go ahead and put the grill back on now. And there we go, our grill and cover plate is now back on. If you haven't used one of these plastic poppers before, you just push the middle through, place it in position, and then push the middle back down, nice and simple. Well, if you found that video helpful, please do give me the thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, check out some of my other videos, and subscribe to my channel.